Hey everyone, it's Manda here. Today I'm sharing a layout I made for Poly Scrap Kits and I used the February Main Scrapbook Kit. I started out with the sheet of my mind's eye paper and I liked both the A and B sides and I wanted to use them together on this layout. So what I've done is cut it to measure and then placed the adhesive along the branding strip. And then after I've stuck it down, I've used a bit of washi tape just to um, hold it a bit steadier. If you weren't going to use washi tape on the front, you could always use a strip across the back just to secure it. I'm mounting my photo on the green paper from Bow Bunny, the baby bump paper. I like the green with the grey spots. It works really well with the colours in my photo. Now, as you can see, there's another little photo there. So I was going to use two photos on this layout, but after some um, messing around and moving things about, it wasn't going to work. So I'm just going to jump ahead a little bit here. And I've added this chipboard from the sticker sheet and I've cut apart one of the snap insta cards and I'm using that for layering and I've also used the smaller one which I've cut down and used a corner punch to make a little tab do you see I'm a little bit not sure where I want to put that so after playing around with it a bit I decided to move the photo just across a touch so I can put it on the right hand side Next I'm going to use the stamp from the January kit and I'm using some Hero Art Shadow Ink in grey and just stamping that on one of the other snap cards. I'm just going to layer that behind the bicycle image there. When I went through the kit contents, I really loved this little chipboard bicycle, uh, but I'm not an outdoorsy person and I don't do a lot of cycling. But I did when I was in the Netherlands, so I thought it would be a fun piece of ephemera to add to this layout of a photo taken of me in Amsterdam quite some years ago now. So I'm just using the stickers and um, labels from the Simple Stories alphabet sheet that's included in the kit, and I'm just adding them around the photo um, to create some interesting layers. I decided to add the chipboard flowers up in the top corner to balance with the bicycle and this cute little camera. Then I'm just getting some of the other pieces on my desk of the snap cards and I'm layering them. What I've done here is cut this one in half so I've put it up the top and down the bottom so it looks like a long piece of paper running underneath the photo. Now, I often do this because I often have small scraps of great pieces of paper left over, not enough to do anything with, but I find it's a good way to use the paper you love and still layer. Now I'm taking some more pieces from the homespun chipboard sheet and adding to the layout. When I started this layout, I didn't have an end um, page in mind. I'm not working from a sketch. There was no plan. I'm just moving pieces around to see where they fit and how it looks. I often do layouts like this. Um, I do like working from sketches but I don't always use them. So I'm really just, as you see, just moving things about until they just look right. Now I'm going to add the title and I'm using um, a mix of the letters from the Simple Stories alphabet sheet. I really love these alphabet sheets because of the variety of letters on them. This one, um, as you know, has three different size fonts on it and one of them is in two colours. So I get quite a lot of use out of that and I do like to mix up titles with different fonts. Also, as part of the title, I'm using the little Scrabble tile um, love word from the chipboard sheet. I think I pretty much almost killed the chipboard sheet in this layout. Then I'm going to have a little gap next to the word love, so I use another piece of chipboard to fill that in. But it's quite dark and draws your eye away from the photo, so I'm just tucking another piece of one of those snap cards up the top just to balance it out so it looks even. And that is my finished layer. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to be back soon with a layer using the March kit. Have a great day. And here's a little bonus video of my helper.